G'day, g'day dear friends, welcome to X Recite. My name is Chrissy. Thank you for joining me today. Hi Shandri, hello. First up on the rank there. Hello there, nice to see you. Okay, so this is a project that's sort of been around, um, not for that long, but because I've been introducing and doing some other live streams in between with products and stuff like that. But um, um, I really have to finish this. And this is um, uh, another surreal portrait, shall we say, with um, flowers, bougainvilliers to be exact. And, and what I've done here is I've blocked in uh, these flowers, but I still haven't done sort of this area. There's a bit, few pieces here and a bit here. So I should get cracking to do some of this stuff. Uh, and see if I can finish it as quickly as possible but not rushing if you know what I mean but you know just get with it and get on with it because uh, I, I have been doing other projects as well so um, oh, I just like to well oh Christine hello Christine no oh uh, uh, in the US okay great um, I had a uh, Oh, Shandri, you've been through the ringer with your health. I hope everything goes well for you. Quick recovery, my dear. Quick recovery. Hi, Cherry. Hi, Cherry. Hello. All right. So what I'm going to do uh, with this project, although I've been doing this on YouTube, uh, I'm going to leave the... Uh, once I've done, I'm going to leave the line art and a reference uh, in the... Um, on my Patreon. So for all of those who are, um, are Patreon members uh, and you wanted to do this project, um, I'll give you the um, line art and the reference. So, which is a segue to my Patreon. Um, I do have a Patreon channel. Uh, if you, the description of where I'm located is in the description box below. So go ahead and click on that because we do really unusual and interesting projects there. Um, you know and of course if there's a special request um, I do that as well uh, last week uh, we were doing uh, we were doing still life and um, it was a request uh, to use soft pastels which we which we did uh, we use pan pastels in the background uh, but our main subject was the soft pastels because we needed to get with that all right so I'm going to uh, put a glassine bit there uh, I'm going to put a paper towel here, my mixing palette, just so you can see what I'm mixing with. And it's interesting enough, I use uh, I use uh, as much as I can from the pastel, um, uh, from my palette, painting palette, and I bulldog clip this to my art so I know which palette I'm using because I do have quite a few things on the go. So that is... So that's a, a quick tip for you if you like. Uh, nothing really crash hot or specific, but I just thought I'd mention this is how I do it. So, I'm, so I've got my head screwed on. Um, yeah, it's very scary. Yeah, Shandri. Oh, my darling. Just get well. Just get well. <laughs> All right. So I'm going ahead with this. Um, later on, I'm going to talk about some purchases that I did. So and some... Uh, some other projects that uh, uh, that I'm doing interesting uh, I've got a brand new sorry I've got a brand new kneaded eraser I've really and truly used up all the it was just horrible uh, I had used it with my soft pastels and it was all pastely <laughs> Not, need, not a kneaded eraser, it didn't look like anything and it lost its malleability so uh, this is a new one folks so I've got it here so I don't lose it okay um, I don't think I should lean forward because uh, you're going to get my head I hate that when that happens alright so first of all how is everyone going uh, is everyone apart from Shandri I know recovering poor thing uh, how is everyone else going Oh, and I've got some of my brushes, which are close by. I've got another glassine sheet to lean on as I'm working. 
uh, a bit noisy, isn't it? Okay, and I've got another paper towel to uh, wipe my pastel and not to contaminate. Because if you notice, my pastels aren't contaminated between each one, considering. Um, I've seen, like, I've seen a lot of people's... Not that there's anything wrong with that, don't get me wrong. Of course not, of course not. But I think it's, you know, a, a good way to take care of your pans, I believe, is to wipe before you apply. And I think the, the fact that I've got my working palette or something to wipe with uh, helps look after my pans. So I'm a bit, uh, shall we say, anal about that, <laughs> dare I say. All right, so we're going to do this. Now, all I need to do is just map out where some of the veins are or some of the, the edges are. So I will do that. And it just so happens that it's a few straight lines. And I find the angular brush, bristle brushes, if you can get your hands on it, if you get any hands on any kind of bristle, uh, bristle, oof, bristle brush, say that five times, uh, bristle brush. Jeez, bristle brush uh, with yeah, that's like that looks like that short bristles, perfect for doing lines. Now, of course, you I know that you're going to ask me where did you get it from, Chrissy? I got this one from Timu. Uh, these ones, and of course, I'm always on the hunt and looking out for brushes, which would be good because you know eventually they're going to, you know, well I assume that they're going to you know, all the bristles will come out of their, uh, the ferrules and stuff like that. But you know what? I haven't had any problems with any of the brushes that I've had. And some of them, I've had them for years. And as you can see, this one in particular, I've had it for years. The, the writing has come off. So that just goes to show how, and of course, these are my modified ones, as you know, that I do. So, and of course I put a green tape or any tape that just indicates to these normal sort of brushes. These indicate to me that I use them for pastel only. Yeah, so uh, I didn't need to do that to that because I know that that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, for pastel only. So that's one way to make sure that you're not... Um, cross-contaminating between mediums because I use other mediums like watercolor I use uh, oils and stuff like that gouache that I need that kind of thing to say to me oh yeah no you can't use that one Chrissy yeah just can't <laughs> all right so all right well I'll just get with it just so happens this one is a permanent red extra dark perfect for this reference so uh, Wendy hello Hello, how are you going? Hope all is well with you. Um, hi, Jelena. Hello. Hello, how are you going? Yes. Oh, hang on. Yes. So... Uh, and of course, I did mention in my uh, on Facebook that I've been shopping. Surprise, surprise! Uh, it's it's a bit hard not to when you work in an art shop. So I was bad then. I'm worse now. Um, yes. So I've been investing more into water mixable oils. Now I don't know if you can see. On my, on my left, which is your right, but on my left, I've got a project there that is 18 by 24 inches, that one. So it's a good size, not a big size, but good enough. And I've, um, I've been using Gesso Board by Ampersand because I'm trying out all of these surfaces and I'll tell you why, I'll lead up to that and tell you why I've been using things like that so I've got that ready to go and on my other side on the top I've, uh, I've used uh, normal oils normal oils yeah uh, 
not water mixable oils. How about that? Because the water mixable oils are exactly the same. I can tell you that apart from the water stuff that you do and it's cleaning. That's just uh, amazing. And I just happen to have a really good brand that has some fantastic pigment in it. It's just a little bit on the exy side, but I tell you what, you do pay what you get. So it must be the way that they mill their uh, pigment, their paints, comes out creamy. I don't have to worry about anything. Um, thanks, Wendy. Yes, I hope I'm going to have a nice Christmas. So oh, I don't know, quiet, I think. Quiet, quiet. I want quiet Christmas, but I don't think I'm going to get that. Uh, I'm going over to my brother's in Sydney. So that means I've got to travel a couple of hours south. Uh, but yes, no, but all good, all good. Yeah, so... Um, Oh, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. <laughs> my power and my camera went off. Hang on. Got to make sure I'm recording. Be good if I could turn the power on. Uh, um, uh, oh, that's right, Jelena. Are you going to continue the no buy or are you going to um, purchase from time to time? I'm not saying um, anything ridiculous, of course. All right, sorry, I was interrupted. Yes, uh, oils. Oh, the, yeah, the reason why I'm painting on the gesso board there by Ampersand, and I'm, I've got some panels which also uh, I'm going to be um, using. I'm going to be doing all sorts of things next year, so um, hang in for there. And, of course, you know, my long-standing projects that I just can't seem to get to finish, but it's they're all there, so... It's happening. So, um, well, now I've got two big projects. One's a painting one, and one's now trying to finish one. Anyway, <laughs> uh, too many things have happened to me this year. I've just, anyway, a lot of family stuff, just with parents, really, taking care of aged and frail. It does take up a lot of energy and, um, you know, and I want to, and painting is one of my outs, you know, it's my out, even if it's for 15 minutes in the day, it is my out, so even if I come down to my studio for 15 minutes and just look at what I'm doing and then walk out, that is something for me. I know it sounds weird, but um, the fact that I love art so much is, I think, uh, an understatement. And appreciate everyone else's art too. Like there's so oh, some stuff out there makes my jaw drop. Uh, puppies. Oh yeah, they're going really well. Uh, they were in here a moment ago. I've. Uh, they usually, both of them keep me company a lot of the times, unless there's no action going on out there in my art studio. But yeah, no, they're going really well. Uh, they've changed my life, is what I'll tell you. Changed my life. Really, really, really changed my life. Okay, so... Okay. Uh... Yes, um, hmm, uh, I need. I 
I need this and that. I think that's what I need. I'm just looking at the the main colours that I'm using for the Bougainvilliers are the permanent red extra dark, the ochre tint, the burnt sienna tint, the red iron oxide tint, and the red um, the yellow ochre extra dark. That's what's giving these greens. So isn't it strange that when you of course when you add black to yellow it goes green when we're color mixing and one way let's see if I'm right uh, so if I'm adding yellow there we go that was good if I'm adding black to yellow look at the color that I'm getting which is very close to that or it's in that range you know what I mean I've always got this next to me because you know I talk about color a lot and sometimes when I'm learning to mix or when I was learning to mix colors this was really useful and of course over here we have values you know when it tells you and of course telling you about cool colors warm colors this little thing has so much information so I I recommend to have this around you when you're painting so yeah they have a way of doing that yes they do they do I'm very um very lucky to have them because they're really good dogs and I've been training them so you know they do get out of hand um, they join me a lot on my patreon nights cherry would vouch for that <laughs> being a patron and watching and some of my patrons they do get a bit um, active and noisy but I don't know what's going on I don't know they're just they're somewhere around okay so back to what I was saying with the with the paintings that I have behind me uh, I was asked to uh, if um, I was asked to to do a solo exhibition and I thought oh and I thought, I thought about it, and I thought, you know what? Go on, go on, go on, do it. And uh, so when I went to, um, but then there was a waiting list. And you're not going to believe it. This is up near where I work. This is the New Newcastle area. It's the it's called the New the Hunter Wetlands, and it's you know there's a lot of. Oh, it's a great big centre where they've got an art gallery and then there's bush and nature and water and lakes and all of that. So there's a centre there. So, um, yeah, I was asked to do a uh, an exhibition and I thought to myself, well, I've got projects, I, I can't do that. But I thought, what? What are you doing? And then I thought to myself, yep, yeah, okay. So I put my name down. And I put my name down about a couple of months ago, and the earliest was, check this out, November 25. I thought, November 25? I might not be alive by then. But I thought, you know what? This is really good because I've got to come up with about 30 paintings. And 30 paintings. It sounds a lot. And it probably is, it is a little bit, but I thought two years, if I do 12, if I do 15 paintings in a year, that should cover it. Surely I should be able to manage 15. <laughs> I don't know. But then I thought to myself, <clears throat> uh, I've got to frame these. It's going to cost me. It's going to cost me some framing. So I've looked into, and I, and I should never say no or never, right? I should never say never because now I'm doing it. Uh, I'm going to learn how to frame paintings right down from matte cutting to the moldings to everything. Well, I don't have the tools for molding and I'm not going <clears> to... <throat> learn to do that but certainly matte board uh, matte board framing definitely get a really good uh, get a really good 
map board I'm not going to go cheap on this one even if I have to save my little pennies on this one honestly so I'm going to do that and then I thought to myself you know what why don't you look for frames already done moldings so that will uh, that will reduce the amount that you're on the cost of framing and then I thought about <clears throat> painting on panels where you don't need to frame so I'm thinking about all of these things that so I so it's not going to cost me much for framing so hence there will be three types of mediums that I'm going to use for my exhibition I'm going to be using oils a third about a third oils I'm going to be using a third about watercolors and then another third pastel paintings because with pastel paintings I cannot get away without framing behind glass so I think maybe 10 pastel paintings is better and more economical than 30 uh, and yeah look I, I don't know I just yeah I have to yeah so I thought well so now then I go searching on YouTube on how to mat frame and framing watercolor without glass well that's just turned my head around it's just I'm so I'm so excited about doing watercolors and not having to worry about framing watercolors behind glass because I don't have to if I if I properly well that's one of them that came in if if I uh, properly uh, varnish them and protect them UV spray the whole thing there's a whole process and even putting them even uh, uh, putting them on um, panel on panels cradles uh, not panels cradles you know what I mean so I meant to say cradles not panels before yet but yeah so I've already started. Um, hi Angie, hello, hello, nice to see you, nice to see you. I feel like I missed something big. Oh, I'm just talking about, uh, I'm just talking about um, my exhibition that's happening in 25, in, no, check it, November 25. That's the long list of starving artists <laughs> of starving artists uh, hi Vivian hello hello Oh yeah, good question. Um, the yeah, the place you're exhibiting, uh, do they require your work to be behind glass? Some places do. Yes, they do. Uh, no, sorry, um, they haven't been specific on that. Um, so I think I'm good to go. But you know, I think they just want if you're if if they're fixed. I think that's what they that they would be all wondering about. Um, but good to confirm, um, they haven't said much, and I know that a lot of them do. So, but with this one, we'll see. Uh, yeah. So I've gone trekking for all kinds of surfaces, even floating frames. Uh, using canvases uh, and and I know this is really weird the frames that I'm selecting I know when you're doing an exhibition uh, to make it look all unified yes I do have time to ask yep uh, to make to make all your paintings look unified some you know a, a lot of artists will put a frame one frame for all now this is what's been going through my head common sense may tell me to do that 
but then it may not suit each painting you see so I'm gonna do the thing that I probably hopefully I won't regret but for the sake of selling the painting and it being uh, for the frame to suit the painting rather than to suit the exhibition uh, I'm going to do frames that suit do you know what I mean rather than just one one and I know it would look more cohesive as a uh, you know as a as a body of work but I'm going to do it this way you know you know me I don't do things normal anyway so a bit of a rebel So with my oil paintings, I know definite I don't have to um, frame behind glass, so that's pretty good. Um, if worse comes to worse with my watercolours, well then I just have to put then a perspex last minute, but we'll see. I've, I, um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I know what you mean, Wendy. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, uh, some galleries can be quite snooty and snobby about certain things, but everything will be uh, professionally, uh, it will all be professionally done, and I'm giving myself plenty of time. Uh, so next year, that's what leads me, next year uh, I will be doing uh, what you'll see, I'm not going to say all the time, but mostly uh, you'll be seeing the projects uh, on my live streams that I'll be doing for this exhibition. So, Abigail, hello, hello. Oh yes, I saw, yes, that's right, Angie, I really like that pen. It's very fancy, isn't it? Fancy, fancy pen. <laughs> yeah. Smaller brush now. I need my small brush. <laughs> you did it. Uh, okay, uh, I think sometimes they get carried away with the rules and doesn't always show off the work like it should be, sadly really because it really makes a difference. Uh, the framing, you mean, Wendy? The framing, yeah. <laughs> I am fancy, says Edge. That's right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, and also, uh, having said that, uh, the, I've got the, the two projects that I have behind me. The one that you can see, maybe your top left, is with, yeah, as I said, with oils that aren't water mixable, but the one on the... And I'll bring it up close because I think and yeah, it's Angie that has bought the water mixable oils. And I'll tell you. Here, I'll do it right now as I speak because I will forget. So bear with me. It's quite a good size. So hang on. Uh, first of all... Uh, sorry. First of all, this is gesso board. There you go. Gesso board by Ampersand. And this is it here. So, there is a slight sheen. You can probably see the sheen. And of course, it's, you know, it's, 
surreal. What else would it be? And again, this one is this is with or the the non water mixable oil so that's my other project which I'm getting ready for which I've done the background for again ampersand uh, sorry just oh. yep gesso board by ampersand uh, Yeah, I love the background you're going, uh, you going, yep. And that, and those are going to fit right into those frames, the, the mouldings that I've purchased. And seeing as we're talking about purchases, I might as well just, just, just for a second. So this is my purchase. Okay, here we go. These are, and I know this is, I'm saying this because, um, Angie, well, of course, I did say that I was going to tell you about my purchases, but Angie, you bought the, uh, there's a set that they've got. So hang on. These are ones that I've bought, that I purchased yesterday. Now, some of the reasons why, now, this is, uh, looks, it's a burnt ochre light, very for Caucasian light skin. Right, and the reason why I've done that, because I, I do make my own skin tones with the primaries, but sometimes, because I'm working full time, I have to think about, and sometimes it might be a week before I can get there, then I can't remember what I've mixed. Do you see what I mean? And I could probably get there if I did, but so sometimes I've bought the, and that's why that I've bought that for a reason. So these are the ones that I've bought apart from the ones that I had. So now Norma Blue, okay, there's a difference. There's Norma Professional, which is the ones that aren't, remember that, that aren't water mixable, but the blue ones are. And I'll tell you what, they dry just as long as the regular ones, right? So, so um, and of course, these are the ones that I had purchased before and of course uh, that that grey, the Payne's grey that I made, I made it with ultramarine blue and where are you? Burnt Sienna. These two colours make a really nice Payne's, Payne's grey. So it's, you know I don't really need to get Payne's grey but did I get it? Uh, no. No I didn't get it because I knew that I could make a really nice one. So these are the ones that I've got before, yeah, or purchased before. Um, there they are. You know all of those. So I'm just, I was just adding to my to those ones. And when you're buying mediums, although I don't I don't need a retarder. Retards drying. I don't even know why I bought that. Uh, and look, it's it's modified safflower oil, poppy oil, and I don't know what sicative is. So, yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so. <clears throat> So that's the the long and the short of it. So I better get back to this. So that's what I've been shopping. And of course, come Christmas time, um, my boss in my art shop it says, why don't you take some time off Chrissy over the Christmas period? Because last year I didn't. I just worked uh, apart from Boxing Day and um, Christmas Day and New Year's Day. I worked, you know what I mean? So I've got off between... Christmas and New Year so guess what I'll be doing God willing hopefully lots of painting so yeah oh g'day Deb hello hello nice to see you nice to see you 
Yeah. Sorry, I'm just checking around because one of my dogs now has settled in. And it's Athena. I have to I have to check because sometimes they look the same. Um at a quick glance. Okay. Uh, I'm working on a portrait of my doggy and will be using the oils on top of acrylics. I also posted the start of the painting on FB. Okay. Did I see that? I'm not sure. I saw I saw your post about the um I saw your post about the the purchase. Uh, are you working there a year already? Oh, am I working there? A yes, 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 I am. I know. Doesn't it go so quick? I just, I can't believe it. But I tell you what, I'm enjoying it. I th I'm working harder. <laughs> I'm working harder than I was at my other job. But I was sitting at a desk, whereas here I'm not. I'm actually talking to customers about art. That is what I'm talking to customers about. So, which is what, you know. And of course, I get to see some of the new products that come in that my boss uh, purchases. And there's a lot of ones that are coming out of Asia. And I know sometimes like the Northern Hemisphere may not get a hold of these, or maybe you do. Uh, one of them is Kusakabi, uh, which is a Japanese brand of art supplies and I've been using the uh, the watercolors really nice and you know what look I know I'm using Schmincke I'm using all of these products that we that have been marketed very well and that we use and that we know of and because they're marketed very well we tend to purchase those but even in Europe uh, in Europe and Asia, you know what? There's some really cool manufacturers that are that are doing some really nice, nice art uh, supplies. And it's then it's not until I've been working with my job that that's opened up my eyes. Because part of my because my, part of my job is sourcing uh, sourcing manufacturers, and if it's viable for the business that I'm working for. Uh, working with Paul uh, and of course there are some that were already there you know how we talked about last um, in the past Renaissance and Roman Schmal well of course this is the art shop that I bought these initially but then I didn't know that they have Renaissance have got oils you know and then there's Rosa Rosa Gallery which is from the Ukraine beautiful art supplies and professional high quality and not as expensive as some of the other ones that we use of course you know Schmincke they're the Rolls Royce of art supplies when it comes to I think just about anything that I've picked up from Schmincke number one has been top quality and of course there's Sennelier the French they've been around for since Adam was a boy so you know these companies have been around for a very long time Derwent have been around for years Faber Castell not years centuries um, have been around for a while you know so naturally they've perfected they've perfected their um, you know their products and seen what the market can um, you know what the market likes and stuff like that so and of course these other ones these Europe some of these other European ones you know um, are trying to you know elbow in and squeeze in I'm sure that there's room for, and there's so much room for everyone but yeah uh, okay uh, let me see oh, I need to go back I think I've missed I've missed something uh, so no paycheck. <laughs> She's spending a lot of it on her. Well, I I am, but you know what? My boss is taking care of 
the the staff. I do get staff staff uh, discounts, and that's the privilege of being there. So he did look after me with those. So I'm very very fortunate. Yes. Um, okay. Yes, always in art heaven. Um, Juliana says, yeah, I still haven't bought any art supplies, not even on Black Friday. At the end of December, it'll be one whole year not buying art supplies. It feels great. Have you been using the ones that you've been, have been using the ones that you've purchased? I hope you have. Okay, uh, but next year is a whole new year though. I wonder if I will go, if I will go back, uh, go made back to buying again mm, hope not okay oh look if you need something I don't know, need if you want to get something then you should remember we're here on this earth for a very short time so take advantage of every second of the day every hour of the day every day of the week every week of the month do you know what I mean so just do that if this is what makes you happy and if if it's in your resources or if it's in your purse to be able to do that then go ahead don't put too much restrictions on yourself especially if you're the type of person that just you know what do you do buy art supplies you play you know you can't you shouldn't take away that privilege for yourself Okay, by the way, another purchase which I'm going to do, which I'm going to make, sorry, but it's all a part of my, I, uh, and I did mention it, I think. Oh, no, I haven't mentioned it yet. Another purchase is that I have to buy a very good cutter, a uh, matte cutter, and that cutter is, it's more than $1,000. I can tell you the one that I want is more than $1,000, but... I'm going to be cutting my own stuff now. I won't be I won't be going to a framer. The only thing that I'll be purchasing will be uh, mat mat boards. But my boss will help me out with that, so <laughs> I'll be able to get those at a really good pr price. Uh, okay, Chrissy. Um, have you tried those gel watercolors? I think they are from Japan, I believe. Gel watercolors, which ones? Are they, are they like a pen? I don't have anything gel, to be honest. So I'm not quite sure I've, I've, I've seen them. No, I'm not sure, you'll have to tell me. Um, Chrissy, is it Renaissance that makes the powdered mar Yes, and sneaks. I tell you what, Deb, I know we haven't got it into our shop yet. Okay, we haven't got it in our shop. It's coming in in the next, I think it's January, because uh, we've got a whole heap of art supplies that are coming in from Renaissance. Uh, we've got some oils, uh, water mixable oils coming in from Renaissance, some new products coming in. So it will be in that batch and I did say to my boss I go did you get a lot of that masking powder because I said there's a lot of people that uh, have been inquiring about it so hurry up but yes when it comes in I will definitely tell you when it's coming unless you can source it from somewhere else but I can definitely tell you that we'll have it but it's just not here yet uh, Okay, Abigail says, yeah, I've been seeing art supply stores in Japan on YouTube. They are unbelievable, huge, and floors are just art supply. And you know what's really interesting about the Japanese, which I absolutely love, is their packaging. Oh, I get seduced by their packaging. <laughs> just, <coughs> excuse me. I get seduced by their, pa yeah, I'm one of those people, you know, so. <laughs> you know, provided that it's okay, but I love to look at the box. I love to look at, you know, the papers and the lays as soon as you open the box and then there are all of these wonderful things that are coming out. I'm just thinking, oh yes, this is very nice. This is very nice. Uh, 
Yes. Okay, instead of spending, I'm getting money back from my commission. Ooh, I'm almost finished. We'll be... Oh, wow, that's fantastic. 465 pounds. Yes, yes, yes. Way to go, Jelena. Yes, nice. Very nice. You should be proud of that. Hi, hi Gilgamesh. Hello, how are you? Oh, I am fine. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming into the stream. Yes, I've been using my art supplies. Still not run out yet. Oh, look, I don't think you could run out. Would you? Well, this is one way for me to use my watercolors that I've got like 50 million of, my oils that I've got 50 million of, and of course, I've got my pastels. So, and of course, n let's not mention, let's not mention art supplies. I mean, sorry, um, colored pencil. Colored pencil, so. Romus, hello. Uh, the, the shop that I'm working at is called adamstownart.com.au. Um, and of course, I'm not sponsored by, they don't sponsor me or anything. Half of the time, they don't even know what I'm saying. Um, so they have no idea what I'm doing. So I, yeah, they don't sponsor me in any way. No way. They just assist my art purchasing habit. <laughs> That's all they do. Um, okay, which art supplies do you all know that will go bad if not used? Uh, I think, I think it's gouache. Oh, my card is full. <laughs> Shandri, she sponsors them. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's her hair there. Yeah, that's right. I sponsor them. Uh, yeah, uh, look, I, I could be corrected, but gouache is the one that if you don't use it, it will, um, I suppose if you don't properly seal it, for some reason it evaporates. I've had a few that have done that. So I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm happy to be correct. I'm always happy to be corrected. Okay, I missed something here. So what's this? I put it around, okay. I have a brand new Neo Color, <gasps> Neo 2 crayons. The full set and the other, than color, and the other than color swatching, I haven't, other, oh, other than color swatching, I haven't touched them. Oh, you just gotta have a go at those. But you know, you've given me a really good idea for a painting. Why don't I use those as well? Yes. Oh, yes, of course. Why don't I? <laughs> yep. Uh, has anyone had the white ants in his home? Uh, 
They are artists, but bad. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I have, but we've fixed that problem up. <laughs> yeah. So. And plus, I'm going to take my time. I don't want to rush things. That's as well with all my all the projects that are going, and one that is not rushed at all, which is sad to say, is my card project. So it's still there. So I've got to finish it. It's, not, I mean, you know, put it together. I, I've started with some templates, but yeah, it got a bit too hard for me a little bit, and then. Uh, life got in the way again and now it's got to finish so so I've got to finish those two things now, I say that every year so I'm not going to say anything anymore but yeah I didn't count on my parents not being well that was one thing I didn't count on that took all my mojo away from me for a good two three months right when I was starting to get into the swing of everything but anyway, that's why I say, if you can do things, just do them. Nike, Nike. If you want to do an art project, don't contemplate your navel. Just do it. So right now I'm blocking. Everything here is blocked because when I start doing all of the details in these, I want it all to look the same. Uh, I find, it, for me, I find it very hard to do one bit, finish it, and then do the next. Because then sometimes I have to leave it and then come back the next week and I'm thinking, what, how did I do that there? Do you know what I mean? So if I'm doing that all across the board, it's easier for me to do it this way. I know everyone works differently, so, but yeah. So I've got a lot of things going to keep me busy. Thank goodness I love art. I always find time to do something, you know what I mean? Even if it's for five minutes, I come into my studio. Uh, we're all in it together. Everyone has moments. My inner child loves Christmas. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, okay. It's, oh, Himi, oh, Himi Gouache. Okay. That's the one, hang on. I'm not quite sure. Is that the one that, um, that we say that is the one that's going to go off or is, that's not the gel watercolors? No, it's not. Himi is gouache, isn't it? It is gouache. Sorry, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Uh, Chrissy, you are a strong hearted, thank you, yeah. Yeah, I've been told that. Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> oh, okay, so, oh, that's what I wanted to also talk about today, the weather. Here on the east coast of Australia, it's going to be a scorcher. We're going to be talking uh, 40 degrees and above. Uh, that's Celsius, so I'm sorry. I don't know what that means in, um, in Fahrenheit. It could be like well over 100. I don't know. I, I, I know that it's up there. <laughs> I know it's up there. Yeah. So, and so for all of those up there in the Northern Hemisphere, you'd be freezing your, you know, what's off, wouldn't you? <sighs> oh dear. Why am I laughing? I hate the cold. I mean, the heat is bad too sometimes, but it is summer here, so. Okay, it's 104 Fahrenheit. Okay, Shandri. Yeah, I knew it was there somewhere. Yeah. 
It must be funny for the Northern Hemisphere thinking, well, you know, it's all winter, Christmas time winter, but here Christmas time is summer for us. And we're right in the middle of it. Okay, it's gouache, not watercolour, after looking it up. Oh, okay. Been so long since I've even thought about doing art, so I had to knock the cobwebs and dust from the deep dark depths of the far corners of my brain. Uh, has it been that long, has it? <laughs> Jelena, we are cold. Cherry, we are cold. Yeah, well. <laughs> that's skin here and that is hair this little bit of hair that's popping out do I do hair? forget hair it might as well be a flower just looks it but then it's only just this bit oh no maybe in here Mm. All right, I've made that decision. I might as well do the hair. All this bit, that's hair. And then I'll lighten it up. I just need to know that it's there. Uh, two or three years since I have done anything traditional. That's a long time, Wendy. But, you know. All good. You love Himmy, Abigail? Maybe that's one. Th oh no, don't, don't be doing that to me. Himmy gouache. I've got M. Graham gouache. I've got uh, some of the Aussie ones. I've got Sennelier gouache. Uh, and as you know, I've been playing with gouache on my test on my test piece that I was doing last week with this kind of project yeah because I'm testing things I'm just before I this is before I go big I've just got to work out how it works as far as the way I handle my brush the way I handle the water the way I handle the paint it's all of that because everyone is different in the way that they work so I've got to do it the way I I work and especially for example like the watercolor colors the watercolors I'm going to be doing those on aqua board a few a few of them about maybe maybe three I've got I've got three I've got three aqua boards that I want to uh, do watercolor and good sizes too what am I doing to myself but uh, I'm so excited so inspired and of course on this lovely watercolor paper by Amatruda that I talk about now that I've discovered where I used to work on I used to work on Arsh and some other lovely papers all lovely papers but I'll be working on Amatruda an Italian handmade paper and I've done a project on that and I'm loving it I've gotten so many layers on that I surprised myself Uh, Himmy is good for a quick session, I see. You know what? The drying time always gets me, you know? I've got to say that it always does. I know. It's, you know, and from the watercolours. Uh, sorry, it's really interesting that acrylic, which I love too, by the way, uh, and of course the watercolours dry quick too. So what's my problem? Do you know what I mean? But, having said that, uh, I, th I think I, I don't know if it's the medium, I'm not sure, but I, I think what happens is the acrylics get tacky 
compared to watercolours because both of these mediums um, dry fast. Tina, no. No. Uh, you tried the kookaburra on this month's inspiration with coloured pencils. I've decided to leave feathers alone. <laughs> you know what? You always say things like that. And of course you produce these magical things. Cherry. <laughs> these magical fruit. And you go, oh, I'm not sure about this. I think if anyone's got imposter syndrome, it's got to be you, Cherry. You are fantastic at all of the things that you've tried. And you always say, oh, I'm not sure about this. And I suppose me, pottle, what is it? Pot, kettle, black. I suppose I, I do the same. I understand, but you know, you do some really wonderful work, so. Okay. Oh, is Robin here? Oh, Rob! Oh, g'day, Rob. How are you? We were talking, I'm not sure if you've heard this, but we were talking about the mixable oils from Schmincke. There they are. Or, um, these are new, by the way. This is their new product. That's one of their new products. Because Daniel Smith makes some. I think Winsor Newton makes some. And that I know of, and I think I'm not sure uh, if Renaissance make any. I'll have to check on that one. I'm not sure about Renaissance for sure. Don't quote me on it, but um, yeah. Not this time, Cherry. Exactly, Ange. Yep. You underestimate yourself, I think. Most definite. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you don't have enough hours in a day to get it all played with. Oh, look. I have to... I have to be very strict with myself. The, I mean, I, but I have to get very strict with myself this year, uh, 24, even more so. So, so yes. I'll have to um, uh, both of the both of the girls. I call it the girls. The dogs have come in, and uh, they're trying to settle in. They've been ar walking around. Artie, no, no. You know what they're doing. You know when when dogs um, they 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 want to sit in a comfortable spot and they sort of look like they're digging. Well, they're doing that to the floor. And that's that thing that you can hear. That. That's them. Ah, no. Oh. And I've got like three dog mats here. Take your pick, girls. <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, got to take the dogs out and get some stuff done. Been nice catching up with everyone. Hope, hope to see you all again soon. Bye. Bye, Wendy. Nice to see you here. Take it easy. Say hello to Tim. Uh, Jelena says, yeah, I love the open acrylics. So which ones do you use? 
uh, Jelena, do you use, uh, there's Atelier, the Australians make one with their, but I think Golden also make some as well. There's, mm, I think, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, please, you know. Um, Uh, okay, Robin says, uh, I'd love some water mixable oils. I watched a video on the best white pen. The girl tried over 60 brands. I had to go by her recommendation plus the other stuff because it looks so cool. Oh, wow. Well, you know what you should do? You should, um, you should share that link on share your art with x Art. Oh, that's a good save <laughs> segue isn't it into uh, the Facebook uh, Facebook group share your art with x Art, and that's the the link is in the description box below share your art with x Art is a Facebook group that uh, is a group where we share our art we share videos or other YouTube videos where you think that the group would like where we share um, good art bargains or um, your profile perhaps if you've got a profile or if you've got a YouTube channel um, this is the channel to do or sorry this is the group to do it uh, we also there are no rules really the only thing I don't want is politics that's a no I'll 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 delete your if it's politics I'll just delete it so uh, there's no politics but other than that just be nice to each other and that's all really that we um and i think our group's been has been like that for for years so yeah uh, it's a nice little intimate group as well uh, and uh yeah we uh and of course this is a a time where we get to know each other and of course it's always usually an extension of the live stream because we talk about the uh, the projects that we do and that we're uh, where we'd like to share and you know sometimes we talk about it here on the live stream and it would be good to show what we talk about so that's that's an avenue to do that really um. okay you have the, oh, the the ones from golden gotcha okay yeah, I knew that there was. <clears throat> I, th I knew that there was golden. I know about Atelier, but I don't know if there's any other ones. Does anyone know if there are any other ones? Uh, it's a welcoming and encouraging group, um, so don't be shy. Exactly. Yes, that's a nice way to put it. I like that. Um, okay, uh, let me see. I have a handful of Windsor and Newton water mixable oils. See, I don't need to buy any art supplies. Well, bloody use them. <laughs> Jeez. And then show us. And show us. No, no, joking. You know I'm joking with you. No, no, use them. Oh, my gosh. See, I don't know the... I don't, um, I don't have any water mixable ones from Winsor & Newton. These are the first ones because, you know, I was a bit dare I say, snooty, and I thought, oh, look, they're not oils. Well, I was, well, that, well, that shut me up pretty quick, didn't it? Because, you know, I tried them and I was, I couldn't have been more wrong. So I'll be the first to say, you, you know, naughty girl. By the way, this is a really nice brush to work with. It's got the right amount of uh, stiffness for picking up pastel and working it on pastel mat or UART. Uh, I like the shape. It's got a long angular shape and uh, short bristles. I didn't need to modify this one. And this one is good for larger areas, as you can see. I've modified this for the smaller ones, right? So definitely, but 
yeah, and again, I got these from Timu. Um, but if you go to your, you know, a makeup store or your local supermarket in the makeup section, you just don't know what you'll find. So I think go for it. Okay, uh, will do. It's an Australian brand. Oh, okay. Col oh, Colour of Life. I share what I bought on the page. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll share what I... Okay, beautiful. Uh, um, our group is really... Sp yes, it is. Thank you, Robin. I think so too. And it's very much our group, isn't it? It's lovely. And I encourage people to join. Uh, to join. Uh, to be honest, I haven't used the water. <laughs> Jeez, Jane. <laughs> oh, well. What, what do you want me to say? <laughs> okay, are they the team? Yes, they're the Timu ones. These are the Timu ones. I'll show you. Did you hear that? A cocky flying overhead. These ones. Oh, did I see your comment? I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, that Talons. There you go. Sorry. Thank you. I'm, I've looked up. Uh, Talons has water-soluble oils too. They are called Cobra. Well, there you go. See, I didn't know. So cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, did you? See, yeah. I keep getting a me, um, a mass a message that something went wrong. Oh, but Talons has water. Oh, okay. I'm not getting anything here for you. All right. Uh, but Talons has water soluble oils and they are called Cobra. I have them, but haven't used them yet. <laughs> oh boy, girls, that's it. That's it. All the ones in this group that have got water mixable oils, use them. And let's just see what, even if it's a little apple, okay? Even if it's a little, because really, the cleanup is like watercolor or acrylic in water. Soap, warm. Uh, warm water with soap. Okay, I've never seen a person use the brushes with pastel colours before. You. Are you... Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gilgamesh. Thank you. Well, i tell you why, because I'm a bit of a rebel. <laughs> That's all. And I'm going to do something that, if it works for me, then, you know what I mean? If it works for me, I'll do it. But I'm sure the manufacturers don't like me using it. I'm pretty sure. Because they're made. i tell you why. These pans, Gilgamesh, these pans are made, specifically made, to use soft tools, soft tool sponges, which I use them, as you can see. I do. I do. And by using those sponges, you create little to no dust when you're comp and when you're comparing to soft pastels, right? So this is the reason why um, I would think that the manufacturer might not like. Oh, they like my artwork, but they don't. I, I don't think that they would appreciate me using the brushes because I'm going against what the product is made for. So. I mean, I'm only speculating here. I, they've never told me that for sure, but yeah, they haven't come right out and said it, but, but yeah. But, you know, it's because of its water mixable property, um, water, because of its mixable properties, it really does well with the brushes, um, but not on every surface, okay? Not on every surface. Not all surfaces. Yeah. 
How, um, okay, how long does it take to dry? Like normal oils. I found that uh, white, but white no matter what uh, brand, uh, titanium white takes a very long time to dry. Colours like yellow ochre, all of these ochre colours, they take they don't take as long, right? So uh, the titanium white took took about a week for me, and of course then it all depends how how much you pile it on. That one that's behind me there, where I've got there are white in the background, I had to wait a good week for it to dry before I started because I didn't want to. Um, I liked the lines that I kept and I didn't want to change the lines that I on my horizon there so that's it but I don't mind that I don't mind that these will take a long time to dry I really don't mind and the reason why I don't mind is because it gives me time and it's quite forgiving and it gives me time to if I've if I don't like it I could probably wipe some of that oil off with a paper towel right and go over it again do you know what I mean like I can do that um, but very carefully I have been able to do that so for me the way my life is my lifestyle where I'm working full-time perfect because then I can go from week to week yeah and like I said and some and some dry in a couple of days yeah and how long is long <laughs> Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I don't have any oil paints. I don't think I'll get them as they have as have enough trouble with watercolors and gouache. They're different, Cherry. They're different. They are different. Watercolors totally different because with watercolor you work. Um, remember, it's like colored pencil light layers and you build and you uh, you build and for the darker layers with acrylics and oil paint with oil paints you go darks first like with pastel and then you as you build your layers you go lighter and lighter where you need to go you know what i mean yeah. different medium altogether and you can imagine my my head is spinning I go from pastel to watercolor to oil well with oil and pastel it's 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 not a not a big deal but with watercolor and color pencil you know unless you're a burnisher that's a different story altogether there as well if you're the type of person that likes to burnish with color pencil straight off the bat well that's a different story as well okay uh, I don't have much room to keep it safe while it dries and if I did I'd buy more art supplies to fill that room <laughs> yeah, yeah wow well. <laughs> what do you want me to say to you oh where's my black <laughs> yes funny That's so funny. Um, I thought I would never work with oil, but Chrissy healed me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh dear. Well. Consider yourself healed. <laughs> That's so funny. Make me laugh, Angie. <laughs> so as you can see, for all of those who are sort of just bumping into my channel or have just discovered, right, you can see this angular brush that I use 
quite a lot that you'll see me photograph a lot with it. It's because I use it a lot. And look at what I can do with this. So easy. Details are fantastic. And of course with pan pastels you can get the... Um, they're not here with me now. You know, like there are small application brushes and stuff like that. You know, like I've used those as well. I'll use anything that will give me that will give me the outcome I'm going for. Most definite. And I've just discovered that I missed part of the background in this spot right here. This color pastel mat is light blue. It looks like a gray, but it's a light blue. And my background is a gray. So, so once my background is a gray, then you can see that there is a difference. That's her ear. I've got to do her ear there. Yeah. All right, so. Okay, I've been using my open acrylics. Oh, wonderful. Uh, they dry slower than acrylics, but much quicker than oils. Well, there you go. You've got the sweet spot, I think, uh, which is why I like them. Once... Once I've finished my pastel commission, I'm going to try to paint a tiger. Oh, wonderful. So this is it. So now you're in the swing. And yes. Okay. That's not right there. Bugger. Okay, I will put the waxing instructions for the watercolor. Oh yes, that's right. See, Vivian understands what I'm talking about. Uh, once the watercolor, once I've finished with my watercolors, you, uh, I'm actually going to apply, and I don't have it right next to me now. Do I? Oh yeah, hang on. No, it's behind there. I can't get to it. But um, I've got a UV spray, which I'm going to put on my watercolor, and then you can apply a wax. And it's this, uh, there's Dorland's wax, I think that you can get in the hemisphere, but um, Gamblin also make a wax, right? Which uh, I'm going to, uh, that's one thing I haven't bought yet. And you wax your watercolor and then you buff it. And depending on how much, you know, you can have a really nice satin finish and you can do a few layers, which makes it a little bit more shinier, but you know, there are preferences. You know, if you're one that just wants to protect it, well, you just do one really nice layer. But yes, that's what I'll be doing. Thanks, Vivian. Yes, share that. Is Annette still mad at you for changing the time? I miss it. She was here last week. She was here last week. She might be mad at me. I hope she's not mad at me. Oh. <laughs> um. Uh, can, uh, can I can I just say I'm so delighted to hear you are doing an exhibition oh yeah just super oh look it's it's you know it's two years so it's a long time but it I've got time to do a lot of projects and so these are all going to be part of it uh, I wax gouache on wood panels looks great there you go see so can I ask you a question then, Ange? Uh, do you um, UV spray your gouache before you put the wax on? Because uh, I know that I think that you can put the wax on as well, can't you? And it doesn't affect what you've it doesn't affect what you've painted. Mm. I've gone too far with the brown there. That's her hair. I've just gone too far there. Silly me. Okay. 
No, I have. Uh, no, I have not. Uh, upsprayed, but that is a brilliant idea. Mm. There's a UV, and I think Krylon make one. It's a UV spray. So it's a UV spray. So that would protect from ultraviolet, right? Uh, rays, of course, as you know. Uh, that's why I'm putting it, and then the wax on top. UV, yep. Yeah. I think Krylon make one, and um, and Schmincke make one. So I've got the Schmincke one which I'm going to use is it yes gosh got to think got to think gray I'm after a light gray this is the gray I think with a little bit of the Tint. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's in front of me. <laughs> right there. That's the one thing, hey? Pastel is so forgiving. Yeah, so this is what, um, that's my news. Yeah, so you've got to wait for it to dry. I've got to check how long. I'm not quite sure whether you've got to wait, say, you know, overnight or 24 hours um, uh, for that to uh, to dry very well. But um, yeah, so I've got my work cut out for me. I uh, just hope I can pull it off. I'm committed now, so... And plus, I'm taking my time. I know that the, there are some people, some artists, who, um, who are doing exhibitions and they're so frantic because they haven't finished in time and they're trying to finish certain projects. So you would think that two years is enough for me to paint a really good amount of paintings. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right. So let's have a look at so far what this looks like, seeing as I've put that in now. And I'll just leave that to the side. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Looks like I'm going to have to add more of the red iron oxide in some of these. Or more red in these. More permanent red, extra dark in these. Where did it go? Was there a second ago? <laughs> how, how do I lose something like that so quickly? Anyway. I, I might have to put some here. And balance all of these out. But yes, this is... Um, Okay, you already have a lot of art which you can show. Yeah, it does, uh, it, uh, it does, well, uh, I have to, with it, yes, you're right, Abigail, and there are some that I can, but it has to have the theme of the wetlands. So there's uh, fauna and flora and reptiles and birds that are around in the area that I have to paint. Some I can use, which I will. There's about maybe three or four that I can use, but the other ones I can't. <laughs> That's the thing. You know when you put, you know when you go into an exhibition and they'll say, okay, this is the theme, landscapes. 
Well, their theme is the wetlands. They're promoting their the area. So that's why I have to do that. Uh, she's looking so cool. I just cannot wait to see. Oh, yeah, she's, um, yeah. Yeah, and of course, when I do finish this, um, thank you so much, Vivian. That's kind of you to say that. Uh, kind words, thank you. Uh, for all of those patrons, uh, I will put the um, the reference and the and the line art for Patreon for those who want to tackle this one. But yes, all right. Thank you all so much for keeping me company. I always appreciate your time. Gosh, we've had a heck of a year, haven't we? Um, anyway, uh, I will be here, God willing, next week. Uh, and but I will take some time off between uh, Christmas and New Year. I'm sure it won't be long though. Uh, but um, I still I'll still be here next week. Uh, so um, have a nice weekend. Have a nice week next week, and I'll see you all next week. Uh, bye for now, everyone.